My relationship with Teresa is very toxic. It's burdensome. It's overwhelming. Kiara is mean-spirited. She's a bully, aggressive. I don't feel the love. I don't call her mom. I just feel like she has no soul. My son Maxwell died in my womb not even one month ago. It's the most devastating day of my life. I depended on Teresa to be there for me like any mother would, but instead, she reached out to all of her friends. I went on social media and solicited my friends about the passing of Maxwell and to keep my family in their prayers. I felt that I had earned the right as a grandmother to share my grief and my pain. Teresa made Maxwell's death about her. We didn't even get the opportunity to grieve our son's death before Teresa took it from us. I never remember Teresa ever hugging us, kissing us. She's never called me and said, hey mom, this is Kiara, how you doing? It's always, hey, like she's talking to one of her girlfriends. Teresa's probably one of the most evil, wicked persons I've ever met in my life. She treats me as if I'm someone off the street. Teresa is always telling me how much she hates me. She has no boundary to what she says to me. I have called Kiara evil. She was ugly. I told her I hated her. Teresa may have thought that she was just disciplining us, but it was abuse. Teresa would slap me, she would grab me by my hair, drag me throughout the hallways, punch me, shove me, kick me, whoop me with iron cords. One time I was angry with Kiara. I grabbed her by her weave and pulled her back and disciplined her with my hand. When my grandson just recently passed, Kiara should have died instead of him because I felt offended by her disrespect. Teresa texts me things like, Maxwell deserved better than what you gave him. God ain't done with your low life. Bitch, you're dead to me. You're a waste of life. Teresa is just, just knocking me down. She says I'm not her daughter. I'm angry and I'm hurt. I'm tired of having to put on this face like everything's okay, but it's not. Uh, Y'all have not seen each other since you lost the baby, right? Right. And I'm very sorry for your loss, Thank by you. the way. I'm sorry. Um, no, you're not. I am. You're not. I am. Tell me about the moment that you learned about losing your child. I no longer felt him moving, so I went to the hospital. They did an ultrasound, told me he had a heart, he no longer had a heartbeat. No one knows what happened to him. The doctors can't give me an explanation for a healthy baby dying four weeks before he's due. So for her to blame me for his death, you're the reason why he died. How, how could she say that? How could you say that? How could you text me that while I'm laying in the hospital recovering? And you know that, you knew that. You know what, Kiara, that was a repercussion from actions you took. It was part of the problem with your defiance, your disrespect, what your, are you your, your lack of appreciation oh, for me as a mother. That. When you when, when when I called you to check in on you, hi Kiara, how are you, baby? We were talking. The conversation went left because what? I says, the friends send their condolences. I'm how a very private person, you know that. You didn't even give on, me, you didn't even it. give me one day Ms. to just private, grieve him. Ms. Private, give me a second. Because and I understand that. Maxwell isn't my child. I didn't carry him. But at the same time, you know full well, I'm a damn good grandmother. And whether he, this whether he was This is not about you. That's the problem. This is not that, about that's you. That's the problem. It involves my feelings, this something that you all about have you, failed. Teresa, Kiara, listen. No, listen you to know, me. You need to listen, because this is the problem. You all have failed to understand that at some point, it is about me. This Moment. I didn't try to take your moment away not from about you. you. We're talking about where the problem began. And this is what no. you have a problem with. You always want to jump to the result, to, to the result. I deal with cause and effect. Are you telling me that you're here to justify the text message that you sent her? Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.